DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the molecule that contains the information to make every protein in a living thing, and sometimes it's called the blueprint of life. Today, we'll show you how to extract DNA from a fruit, like a strawberry or a kiwi fruit, so you can see what it looks like for yourself. And the first thing that you do is chop up your strawberries, then you add a teaspoon of laundry detergent to half a cup of warm water, and pour your strawberries in. Now this is an important step because the first thing you have to do to get the DNA out of a cell is to lyse the cell, which basically means to pop it or break it open. And the detergent, the soap, will actually break open our cells and start to, to chew them up so we can get the DNA out. Now we've then taken our strawberry laundry detergent mixture and water mixture and put it in a bowl of really warm water and we're going to leave it here for about 12 minutes um, in order to chew up the, the cells in the strawberries. Nucleic acids like DNA are contained in the nucleus of our cells so we also want the nucleus to pop open and release the DNA so that we can collect it in the next step of our experiment. It's been about 12 minutes, so we're going to take our strawberry detergent mixture out of the warm water bath where it's been, the detergent's been chewing the cells up and put it into an ice water bath. This prevents proteins called enzymes, which are inside our cells, and they're sort of like little scissors, from cutting up our DNA. So we're just going to cool it down for five minutes and come back and work on extracting our DNA. The next step of our DNA extraction is collecting the supernatant from our mushed up cells and detergent. To do this, you just take a coffee filter, you put it inside the corner of a Ziploc baggie, and you cut off the corner of the baggie so that the liquid can flow through. Put it in a bigger collection cup, and now, Take the supernatant, or sorry, take the mushed up strawberries and detergent and pour it through the filter. And what this does is take out the big pieces and chunks of cells that are still in our mixture. The last step of extracting our DNA is called precipitation. And to precipitate DNA, you need salt and alcohol. So we've taken our supernatant that we collected from our filter and we've put it into some tall glasses and some test tubes. We filled it maybe a third of the way up with the supernatant, and then we added a pinch of salt to each of them, like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon or a fourth of a teaspoon, mixed up the supernatant and salt, and then added an equal volume of alcohol, rubbing alcohol or ethanol to what was in the cup. Once you do that, so here's my supernatant with salt. I'm going to add some alcohol, sort of an equal volume of it. If you have a test tube, you can put, I got a little too much, you can put a stopper in the test tube and then gently invert it a few times. And then you can let it sit on ice or sometimes you can see the DNA precipitate forming right away. And what it looks like is sort of clear slimy goo near the top of your solution. Now you guys can take your stoppers out. I'm going to use a fork because I have a bigger glass, but you can use a toothpick or a stick. And what you'll see is that you can pull out a clear slimy looking substance that is DNA. If you don't see DNA, try adding more salt or chilling your tube or glass in the freezer for a while. But you should see something that looks like this. So congratulations, biologist. You've just extracted DNA.